This is a model scaled down thousand times of a building behind me. If you are an X-Men franchise fan, you've probably seen it. The funny thing about mathematics is that scaling down the 3D model thousand times means it's a billion times smaller by volume. But Bitcoin is divisible not into billion units, not even into million units, but 100 million units. If the smallest unit of Bitcoin is this size, just the 1 by 1 by 1 millimeter spec, how big of an object would the whole Bitcoin be? This big? Bigger? Bigger? Welcome to the world of Bitcoin, where everyone is trying to push for a free and open software. Oh wait, no, I guess everyone is fighting over the denomination? But what is Bitcoin denomination and why does it matter? You need to know the story behind it. When Satoshi was creating Bitcoin, there was almost no denomination. In the first weeks of Bitcoin, the transaction fee for miners was just close to 0.01 Bitcoin and everyone who was testing it had an abundance of coins and was sending the full amounts like 50 Bitcoin, 30 Bitcoin, 63 Bitcoin. But Bitcoin was divisible, just through the limitation of the wallet interface, it was rounding up to 0.01 Bitcoin and soon software did allow sending smaller amounts. Single Bitcoin could be divided into 100 million units and Satoshi himself was calling them coins. Coins isn't the best name when you have 100 million coins making a Bitcoin. So the smallest unit got the name of Satoshi, recognizing the creator of Bitcoin protocol. Obviously it happened on Bitcoin Talk Forum and the name stuck till today. It even got the abbreviation of STS, but now the prevailing abbreviation SAT had sticked the most, SAT. Uh, this is the physical representation of Satoshi that I've created. Another important denomination used today is called BIT. Just a few minutes ago I roasted Satoshi for calling a smallest unit a coin. But I won't be roasting BIT as an unit name. There is an army of Bitcoin influencers out there who are training day and night to respond to ignorance like me. Anyway, this is how big it would be as a physical representation. Usually, the name is used in plural form as bits. It's also called micro Bitcoin, because in SI units, micro is a one millionth part of something. In this case, if you divide single Bitcoin into million parts, you will get a bit or micro Bitcoin. Because Bitcoin is divisible into 100 million units called Satoshi, that makes one bit a hundred Satoshi. Okay, enough math for now, so we do have these two main denominations for very minuscule amounts of Bitcoin. Why are people fighting with each other about their superiority? Okay, the reasons other than trying to compensate for their lack of knowledge about other topics. If you are a member of this group of people who don't know how Bitcoin works, food and economy are other topics you may consider. Satoshi is the most common denomination as of today, because as I've mentioned, it's just the smallest unit of Bitcoin. Maybe it's not really true, it may not be the smallest unit because you can't really send someone a single Satoshi in a main Bitcoin chain. But why Satoshi unit gained a lot of popularity recently is that it's the main unit of Lightning Network. Payments and rewards in Lightning Network are really small. How small you ask? On Lightning Network one can divide a single Satoshi into thousand pieces, each again with the spirit of SI units called Mili Satoshi. Artist called Cryptography in December 2018 had put this piece of an art on an auction for two reasons. To make fun of coverage of Bitcoin that focused so highly on the price and the second to promote Lightning Network protocol. But there was a twist. Auction was designed in a way that the lowest bid win. Lowest bidder put on the offer of 1 milli Satoshi, which was that much in terms of fiat currency at the time. Also, when transacting on Lightning Network, the fees are usually small. In many cases, 1 Satoshi, sometimes a bit more than that. So it's a perfect unit for the use case. 
I could also mention many, many more cases like transaction fees being denominated in satoshis per byte, but my goal isn't to make you bored. In the other camp, we have bits believers, 100 satoshi equivalent, 1 millionth of a bitcoin. And you know what? Bits make a lot of sense when we speak about the value. I'm recording this video when a single bitcoin is worth around 40,000 US dollars. So single bit is worth 4 cents. 25 bits is a dollar. 100 bits is 4 dollars. Easy math. Want to buy a book that costs 10 dollars? 250 bits. And you have it. As you can see, bit is this denomination that is closest to a USD cent. And that makes it useful. There is this one more thing. Remember when I told you that Satoshi is the smallest unit of Bitcoin that exists? I sort of lied. Because the smallest coin amount that one can transfer on the Bitcoin blockchain is 294 Satoshi and that's for SegWit transactions. In past, this limit was even higher and it was 546 Satoshis. I know, it's a bit dumb to have the unit that technically is the smallest, but never use it to its full capacity on chain. But if you don't believe me, just search for Bitcoin dust limit. That's why bits are way better when denominating. It's impossible to go deep enough to transact single Satoshi on the main Bitcoin chain. And the minimum output spent is at least two bits. So far, I've covered Satoshi's sats, as well as bits, which is the same as micro Bitcoins. Hold on for two more units. One being milli bitcoin. Again, in SI units, it means 1000 piece of something, in our case, bitcoin. And the other unit is Fini, which was called to remember, Hal Fini, one of the first bitcoin adopters. And the unit is 10 satoshis, or one tenth of a bit. And here comes the big piece. If one satoshi is this small, the whole bitcoin would look like this. I know, not that impressive, it may look like Bitcoin isn't divisible that much, but why I've done this video is to show that unit by unit, if you start collecting even small pieces of Bitcoin, it doesn't take that much to fill in the box. If you want to be a whole coiner, so the person who owns full Bitcoin in the future, start from filling the small boxes. Collect the smaller boxes into the bigger ones and it will be a more manageable task. And if you gain enough Bitcoin that you won't have to use these units made for peasants like me, then you made it. If you are just starting and you are interested in ways that allow you collecting all these bits and satoshis, you need to know more about Lightning Network and tools that allows you harnessing the power of Lightning, the low fees, fast transactions. It will make massive difference to your overall understanding of the space and in these videos below I'm not only showing you these tools but also explaining how can you use them for your own advantage. 